Hey guys, um, this is, uh, Mr. Grand Reaper 16, and, um, I'm gonna be showing you, uh, just a few, like, you know, more tutorials. Uh, just like my, uh, sprint. Got my stopwatch, uh, won't be too long. Uh, sorry about that before. Um, so I'm gonna start with a, um, I think I'll do a time trial tutorial. I've already got some time trial videos. But um, I'll do the Rotterdam prologue of the tour this year. Yeah, I've already got like um, some videos on it. Um, if you want, I'll use my custom database. Now, you got to admit this is kind of correct. He is 84 time trialing and 85 prologue. You can't say he wins everything um, uh, when it comes to time trialing and prologue. That that is just so. Uh, look, when I did a video and he was rated 82 on time trial, um, I came second to Wiggins. That isn't very realistic, you know. Um, uh, I think uh, Cancellara is probably the best time trialist to ever lived, and um, his prologue is unbelievable. He can win a time trial after three weeks of the Tour de France, going up the Pyrenees and um, the Alps, and he can still win it by a long way. So uh, that is definitely him. And I'm going to show you a bit of a Saxo Bank time trial video. Um, I won't bore you too much, I'll just get into it, I'll just say, you know, Cancelar, Larson, Vocht, Fuglesang, uh, Stuart O'Grady, Andy Schleck, Frank Schleck, Chris Anker Sorensen, you know, just a few of the generals, Matty Bretchel, and that's it, that's my riders. Now I use Floyd's SDV66, and I'll do Full X Speed, and then I'll do Kronos. And 3D race, and what I'll do, let me just check. I put everyone the same, um, the same kind of fitness. Yep, no random fitness. So that's that. And um, see the favorite, Cancellara, Lipa, and Wiggins. Now you can tell out of everyone who do you think would win the time trial. I mean, you saw last few years, Cancellara's been the first one to wear the yellow jersey in the tour, and and he's just uh, just so sensational when it comes to time trialing and, and I'm just really impressed with how he can ride like this and, and I'm, I think my opinion Evans is in there yeah I think that um Cancel I'll definitely win this this is very realistic also could that Evans have put him up to 77 from 75 because he's won a stage in the tour before and it was a time trial and he's come second as well to Levi Leipheimer so you know he's definitely a very good time trialist as well that's good, Elevens. And um, anyway, so cancel off. Put him up 84 time trialing, 85 prologue. You may think it's a bit ridiculous, but you can think what you want. I think he's the best time trialist we've ever lived. Yeah. So I'll get into it. I'll show you when the first guy comes, but mainly I'll just do. Welcome to the Netherlands for the start of the Tour. After the Tour of Italy, which um, started in Amsterdam, do. this year's okay. Tour de France just has come I do, to I do, Rotterdam. I do this. Dutch cycling fans yeah, have therefore got plenty to cheer about. That, so. However, yep, I'll do my they better video. do it quickly Thanks. because the distance is short, less than nine kilometers, and the riders will be going past in a blur. As one would expect in the Netherlands, the route is free. Yeah, I, I'm back and I just wanted to show you Jens Vogt. Uh, see, I'm keeping the things level, no light bulb. And he set the second best time at intermediate to Zivy Zabriski, which is obviously hard to be Zivy Zabriski. Um, but let's see how I do at the end, you know, keep, keep it level, no matter what happens, keep it level, keep it level, keep it level. And then he crossed the line, I just do 99, get the blast. Came second by one second or something like Zabriski. You can't, you can't not be pleased with that. You know, re um, this is Jacan Rodriguez's set off. I think he's a better climber than 76, I might change that in database, you know, he's... He shows that he's a proper good climber, and uh, I think I'm pretty impressed with his performance. Yeah. Oh, I just finished with um, Chris Anker Sorensen, and it just shows, you know, um, that I was 43rd at the time check, and I end up 32nd, you know. Um, one of the things I struggle with is how, what the starting off. Uh, this is David Miller saying off from Garmin. Uh, you know, he's probably a very good rival for this. And, um, I'm just worried, you know, I don't really know how to set off properly, you know what I mean, like, um, I can't set off, I don't know what the starting energy should, be, like, starting thing should be, I'm pretty, pretty confused when it comes to that kind of stuff, but, um, look, this is setting off, you know, I just do this, you know, just kind of get on with it, really, like, that is probably Frank Schleck, it is Frank Schleck, obviously, 
I'm starting for 75. It's not a very good time to try this, but I think 75 would be quite a good thing just to test it. I uh, remember, I'm not really concentrating on winning with him. He's just... I do, I do want to do well, but... So 65, I mean. Sorry. It does look a bit like it's kind of correct. You want to keep it level at all times without the light bulb. Make sure that it's level. You don't want it to be not level. And put it up a bit as effort, you know. You've really got to rely 100% on their time trialing ability. If they're rated 50 on time trial and you put their effort up 99, it won't make a difference. Believe me, it's ruin it. You need to just keep it at a steady pace, their own pace that they can handle. No higher. I'm doing it at 80 because it looks like he's feeling quite strong and he's, you know, about to go through the time check. Let's see what he got. He set 22nd and Vopt is now at 3rd, by the way, overall, 1 second down. Um, yeah, so Frank Schleck is looking pretty strong. He's, see, they're still level. You can do, like, a little bit less, but I'd prefer to do a little bit more because you can just accelerate at the end. But, um, so it's good to keep it level. I'm putting it down to 70 now. It's, um, quite worrying. Yeah. Uh, 1.7k to go. I think I can put it up. So, I mean, by the acceleration, I can put it up to 80, 81. He's going to go for it. So, 82. And he goes through 99, and he got 20th. That's a pretty good result. Oh, by the way, just to tell you, um, what I do is I like to check how good the person in front of me is doing, how much further I am. And by the way, the person in front of me was Rouslow, whatever his name is, and he was actually set the best time. And I know it's already trying to sprint for it, and he did pretty well at the end. He got 23rd. All right, that's pretty good. I improved, you know. I'm when I get to the good guys, then you'll see. You know, you just gotta seriously consider. What I was telling you about, go back. Like, for instance, how's this guy, Tony Martin? Oh, good guy to choose. All right, how's this guy? I want to check how good the person in front of me is doing. So at the moment, he's on seven kilometers. I'm on seven point nine. Guy behind me, you know, trying to check. You know what I mean? Like, see how much catching up I am with the other guy. How much I'm slowing down. You know what I mean? So that's why I do. Doing quite well with Larson here. Um, you can tell I'm just riding in. Popovich was in front of me. Let's see how I do. Cross the line. What position? Oh, not very well. Sixth. It's not that good. Oh well, it's alright, you know. And about the time really, that I'm only four seconds down. It's nothing. It's still, um... Yeah, I'm not that impressed with that. I just wanted to say, don't you feel sorry for Fugel saying? I mean, behind him is some Gasparotto. In front of him is Leipheimer. Now, this is the person I think that could beat me. Um, that's Cancellar, you know. Um, 82, he's on the thingy, but let's just see what he does. Alright, Fugel saying is looking pretty strong. I'll come back to you at the end. It's a new best time. All right, so this is the one I want to watch, and in front of him is none other than Andreas Cloden. And behind him, Davis. Not that big a problem in Matthias Frank, but anyway, some Cancellara. I'm setting off pretty fast. Um, I should put my effort actually a bit down because I don't want to tire him out. And we're going over a little bit of a gradient, bit of hills, and he's at the best climb. So, um, um, so yeah. I mean, I mean, just kind of keep in mind that all the cyclists are good climbers. Remember, they might not be good in professional, but in real life they are actually amazing. So, but anyway, so Cancellara is still looking quite strong. I don't think I've done this right. Um. Let me just check live by my beat shot by the way. The time intermediate check. time check shows him just behind. Cancellara is two seconds down. Yet. I'm not gonna let that happen because I'm going 50 or kilometers an hour. Let's see what happens with Cancellara. I mean, he's still strong. Look at his energy, man. This is ridiculous. Look at it. 85, man. Go on for it. Go, go, go. Um. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. What a ride. 
What's all right? Look, I've done this. I've done it. I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I failed. I failed myself. I failed it. I failed it. I failed. I failed. Wow, no, I didn't. Seven seconds. Seven seconds on my timer. What a ride. Seven seconds on my timer. Second at the first check, but first, what a what a ride! I caught eight se I caught nine seconds on my timer between that intermediate. What a ride! That was sensational. I'm pretty pleased with that. I must say, Olsen Hagen. It's going. I don't care. All right. Given the time on the stopwatch, I'd say he'll find it difficult to come in amongst the leaders today. But perhaps that wasn't his objective. Yeah, so yeah, I was hoping that Castell can stay in the lead. I don't know what's happening on my recording. I'm not that pleased, but yeah, whatever. Okay, Wiggins is saying off. He's the person I'm worried about. Comment of Samuel Sanchez, Basso, Armstrong, Schleck. Schleck is saying off. Frank or Andy Schleck with, I think, Alberto Contador in front of him. And Evans is the one to set up last, which is pretty, pretty strange, but yeah. Good 11s, the best rider in the whole peloton. He's definitely the best. Look at him go. Here he goes. Look at Evans. Evans is set off. Evans. Evans. And check. Yeah. Here he goes. Here goes. Here he goes. Sprinting. Oh, I should limit his losses there. 130 is not good. Here comes Contador. Nearly caught me as well. Here comes Evans. 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 He's crossed the line. World champion. I, I won then. Cancelara won. That is how you do it. Plus, I mean, I'll, we're like, for instance, Matty Breschel. Look at his time training ability 66. Cancelara 84, you know what I mean? Breschel nearly got caught. I mean, in fact, Brakovic in front of Breschel finished a kilometre before him. And Cancelara only caught up his minute man, and that was clothing, so that's pretty impressive. So I won. That's how you do a time trial. Make sure that the green and yellow bar is level. Make sure that the bar, yellow bar and green bar is level, yeah, and turn off the light. Make sure the light's not on, and just um, ride and, and uh, do 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 yourself proud in the tour, you know. Uh, I mean, Fugusang was up there. Where was Jens Vogt in the end? I mean, Jens Vogt, look at him. He's finished 19th, and he set off so early. I mean, Evans 12th. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, see Contador's up there. It's all about you know your team. For instance, like for my team, Andy Schleck lost a minute 10 to someone like Contador. That's not very good. So um. In the, when you're doing a Tour de France, make sure that you're riding strongly, and make sure that um, make make sure you actually try it. And don't don't go too hard. Don't say like, for instance, okay, I'm Andy Schleck. I've got not very good time trialist. I'm gonna give it 99, 90. That's stupid. Make sure the green and yellow bar are the same, and rely on the time trialing ability. If he's not very good, catch it up on the climbs. That's what makes Andy Schleck so special. So if I'm in Cancellara, the best time trialist I think whoever lived won again. Thanks for watching, rate and subscribe, and um, I'll make some more tutorial videos soon, and maybe a Let's Play. But thank you, watch I'm the Games Guy videos as well, but rate and subscribe mine please, and um, or the thumbs up, whatever it is now. Subscribe, and also to Super Millwall 03 he's a very nice guy, he's got some good videos, or none, but doesn't matter. Uh, thanks, rate and subscribe. Thanks, bye.